minute you go on the inside, what you're doing is you're basically going to end up blocking the tear duct and it's going to end up agitating it and then you're just back at square one again. I'm back with another educational beauty video and today it's about how to stop eyeliner or cardial smudging and running. Yes, this is a question that so many of you guys have and it's an issue that, well, I think a lot of people try and solve on YouTube, but I really wanted to show you what really works for me. And honestly, it stays put. You guys are gonna love this. It's gonna be a complete game changer for your eye makeup. And I'm so excited for you to kind of up your makeup game with this. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram, so come and say hi there. Now let's get started with this video. This is definitely something I feel everyone needs. This whole tutorial is going to just change it for you, change the game for you. When it comes to black eyeliner, brown eyeliner, like anything that smudges, I really want to address that for you and really show you step by step how you can stop your eyeliner and your cardial from smudging and running, even if you have watery eyes. We are going to get started with that. Now, first off, I have my base on, I have no eye makeup on. I sometimes suffer from the whole watery eye thing and it's really, really annoying, so I do totally get it. Today I don't have that, <laughs> but I do wanna show you and I do want you to know that I understand what happens. Your eyes start watering, this whole area here becomes very kind of like just wet and it's constantly wet on your skin, which, what happens then is your, your eyeliner, which is there, starts running, right? It starts seeping through into these like lines there. So I just want you to know that I do fully understand what happens and I, I get it. There are a couple of reasons why, putting aside the watery eye at the moment, let's just park that for a second. There are a few reasons why your eyeliner or your, your like eyeliner pen or your cardinal may be smudging and running. It could be that your base to begin with isn't set enough like so it isn't matte enough you really need to make sure that whatever you're applying your cardinal your eyeliner on is completely dry and sometimes what happens is we haven't actually set with powder the eye area enough like sometimes you'll find that you think you have but you don't realize that you haven't actually set it properly so whatever concealer or foundation is there is still tacky it's still wet it's not fully dry it's not fully matte and because it's not fully matte what happens and you sometimes it doesn't even look at you can, you can't tell yourself but because it isn't what happens is then that product that eyeliner starts seeping into the kind of the wetness of the concealer or the foundation and then it starts running slowly because it's not dry enough what i have on is my concealer and i have set it with powder and i'm sure you guys probably do too right because otherwise how else would you avoid creasing so what i've done is applied my concealer on my under eyes on my lids and i've gone over with some powder with a powder puff and then i've just dusted it off with a brush right you see that in every single video of mine if you haven't head over to another video which include like a full look and you'll see me doing that we've already done that part right but what if you do that and you don't realize that you haven't actually powdered properly or maybe you don't even powder the area, right? So what we're gonna start off with is making sure that our base, our foundation is nice and matte. There's no wetness there. There's nothing kind of wet there. We're gonna make sure it's super, super matte and dry. We're gonna grab hold of the Makeup Forever setting powder. You can use any setting powder that you want as long as it is a powder and it works for you, all good. Now what I'm gonna do is get my brush. This is like an eyeshadow brush. This is actually my BK Beauty 203 brush and you do have a discount code for this. It's in my description below. So what we're gonna do is head over and press this into the powder, right? Just the tip. So it's got like a whole load of powder on that brush now. Now what we're gonna do is before we start any kind of eye makeup, we are gonna make sure that we're really kind of pressing this into the lash line. So focus on getting right into the lashes there. Keep your eyes closed because you don't want the powder to get into your eyes. We're just going over the whole lash line there. This also works if you do suffer from watery eyes. And we're making sure, going right on the inner corner there, but again, you've gotta make sure your eyes are closed. If you have watery eyes, honestly, the bet your best bet is firstly to kind of like make sure you have a tissue at hand. I usually, what I do is I kind of fold it so it's like this. So I have a nice sharp corner there like that. And I just make sure I press. I don't stick it in my eye because otherwise I'm just gonna irritate my eye even more. I just press 
and it usually soaks up all the water. At some point it does stop, guys. <laughs> I understand the struggle, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath now. And this is where we're gonna close our eyes again because we don't wanna get the powder in our eyes, but we are gonna kind of go over that whole under eye area. And you will, once you've dried up where your eye waters, go over it with the brush, right? Because you'll feel that it starts to kind of like dry out. Now we're gonna do same thing here. We're gonna make sure this whole area in the lower lashes, and I'm just opening my eyes now because whatever's left on the brush, I can go into my lower lashes. That's all nice and dry now. There's no water there. This is where we can apply our pencil. Now, it's up to you what pencil you use. You could use a waterproof pencil, which is really gonna help as well. This is a really good eye pencil. I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Gel Liner. It generally stays put. Another really good one is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyeliner Pencil. That's also really good. Now, I'm gonna use this because I really do like how it kind of blends out how when you smudge it. I'm gonna grab hold of, this is my Makeup Forever 213 brush. Now, I'm gonna get this, and I am gonna now start kind of applying this. I'm not gonna apply on the inner corner i want you to leave that section because this is a section that usually when you have watery eyes that's what tends to happen you don't want to try and force it just leave that section alone now we're going to draw a line really close to my lash line i'm really not fussed about how perfect this looks we're going to end at the end of the lash line i'm going to go over and grab my brush and this is where i'm going to close my eye and i'm just going to go back and forth like this right and this is just going to smudge it for me and i'm going to apply this to my lower lash line too so you can really see how you can stop that gargle and that eyeliner from kind of like you know smudging so you can go over and make this as dark as you want i think we're slowly getting there how dark i want it And this eyeliner pencil is really good because it really does stay put once you've applied it, once you've blended it. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're gonna go over and do the other eye. So remember, I'm not taking it on the like inner lash, the inner corner. And you'll see that you actually don't need to. I feel like we end up applying it everywhere and we don't really need to apply it everywhere. Okay, now we've applied it on both lids. You can see we haven't actually applied it on the inner corner. We don't need it there yet, but I am gonna show you how you can apply it there if you want to. If our eyes are watering, and I, I wanna kind of address this for the people who do have watery eyes, but also to the ones who don't, and it just generally tends to kind of like run your your eyeliner tends to run now if you do have watery eyes you want to leave that inner corner for as long as you can right so you you want to kind of like get to that right at the end so i'm going to carry on so now what i want to do is i want to apply it on my waterline at the bottom right but what i don't want to do is open up the eye and really go on the inside because that's that's very wet there already obviously right so what we're going to do is really focus on applying it into the lower lashes. So not below, but into the lower lashes. So we're really kind of like just, there you go. And I'm not taking it on the inner corner. We're gonna leave that. There you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of like go side to side with this brush. You can use a smaller brush if you want to. There you go. Okay, you can see how we've got it on the lower lash line too there. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing here. So I focused on applying it into the root of the lash. There you go.
So you can see we haven't actually applied it on the inner corners on either eye and we haven't focused on pulling it out on the edges yet. Now, because everything is so dry when we've applied this, it's gonna stay dry. But what we do wanna do is also set it after, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. Now, this is where I'm just gonna shape the eye a little bit. So this is more to do with like the kind of shape that you want. I'm gonna apply a little bit here, just at the end of the lash line, but on the upper part of it, right? Then I'm gonna get this brush and I'm just gonna very lightly drag this out. And this is gonna give me more of a feline look because I do wanna show you obviously how to avoid the smudging and the running, but at the same time, I am showing you a look, right? So we're gonna just drag this out. There you go. That's it. I'm not worried about it being like perfect because I'm gonna go over with something else after. So we're gonna do the same thing here, just a little line at the end of the upper lash line, very small amount. And I'm kind of like taking the brush inwards, right? And then I'm gonna start dragging it out. So I take it in first just to really smudge it. And then I drag it out. And by taking it inwards first, what you're doing is making sure that you actually blend it. So it's blending it, and then we're gonna drag the excess out. We don't wanna drag all of that initial product that we applied out. That's more or less done. We've kind of got the shape that we want, but we wanna finish it off with the inner corners and also set it so that it really does not smudge, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, when you're using a pencil like this that actually dries after you've blended it, it's not moving. So you really do have to also make sure you use the right type of card draw pencil. So this, like, I said this is a great product to use so is the makeup forever aqua pencil whatever you call it now what i'm going to do is i am going to make sure that i've got my other brush you know the one that we used with the setting powder i'm going to dip back into that and i'm going to just close my eyes and just kind of go over this inner corner here and you'll obviously if you have watery eyes clean it with the tissue first let that absorb all of that kind of water. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to just go, not on the inside, just on the outside. So not on the inside of the eye. The minute you go on the inside, what you're doing is you're basically gonna end up blocking the tear duct and it's gonna end up agitating it and then you're just back at square one again. Now we're gonna get a smaller brush. I'm using my E75 brush, which actually you can get in my whole Sigma brush set, which is available now, limited quantities. And if you go to my description, you'll find the link head straight over that will give you a bunch of brushes, a whole set that I've put together specifically for every eye look you can even think of. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is make sure the highest point is pointing towards the inner corner and I'm just gonna basically smudge in from the top, right? So smudging inwards. Now this bottom bit, I'm just doing side to side and it's a very small amount that you need to actually blend because the rest is all done. So this is pretty easy to be honest, this bit. Now it doesn't look so disconnected. Now it doesn't look like we've got kind of a missing section there, right? Now what I'm gonna be doing is taking that same brush, going into the black in my eyeshadow palette. I'm using the Makeup by Mario one. You can use any other good black eyeshadow. And I'm basically gonna now press this on top of like very close to the lash line. And what this is doing is it's really kind of like setting it so that this does not go anywhere. Not too much of the product. We don't want so much that it, it's kind of like giving you a fallout on the face. It's a very small amount. We're gonna do the same here. Now at the bottom, what we're doing is we're pressing into the root of the lash. Now I'm gonna get my Sigma L04 brush. It's a really, really tiny pencil brush, which is actually for the lip, but I love this for the eyes. I'm gonna go into matte 11, which is a really dark brown. And I'm gonna take the excess off in the back of my hand. Now what I'm gonna do is go underneath the lash here. Fully underneath. Before with that black eyeshadow, I went into the lash line. Now I'm going underneath the lash line. Very close to the lash line, but underneath. And what this is gonna do is just soften it so it doesn't look like so kind of like harsh. It just softens the edges a little bit. And it also adds that added kind of protection 
of powder. Obviously, you don't have to go as low as I have gone. Lastly, I'm gonna get my mascara, run through my lashes. There you go. Obviously, use a waterproof proof mascara, guys. Now that is how you are gonna make sure that your black eyeliner, your kajal does not smudge. What we've done is we've made sure that the base initially is completely dry. It's set, there's no fluidity there, there's nothing liquid there, it's not tacky, it's not wet, nothing at all, it's super dry. Even if you've set your eyes when you first applied your concealer and foundation, sometimes we don't realize and we don't see where there may be a little bit of, like a little spot where we've maybe not applied powder. Like really, realistically, do you really apply your powder all over your lashes? You don't, right? You kind of go around the eye. So this way, what we've done is we've made sure that whole area is super dry. Then we've gone in with our kind of eyeliner pencil and and then we've smudged it, but we've also added that extra kind of bit of kind of protection by making sure like sealing it in with the matte eyeshadow. And then on top of that, we've kind of gone in with a brown underneath to make sure it doesn't look so harsh, but it also does make sure that it's not gonna also, you know, go down and like run or smudge because there's more powder there. So the whole area has been kept very, very dry. And that's how you can avoid your eyeliner, your kajal smudging and running. It's heat proof, it works amazingly, it works for me. I do this all the time. Now, also, if you do have watery eyes, then the main thing you want to keep doing is honestly getting your tissue and kind of making sure that you're soaking up that water. But the biggest thing I can tell you is not to aggravate the area. Try not to apply any eyeliner on your actual waterline. We didn't apply it on our waterline. And even though we didn't, it still looks like we have, because what we've done is we've gone into the lash line and smudged that. So it kind of gives the illusion of it being all the way in, which it isn't. You don't need to apply eyeliner on your inner, on your actual waterline, because that really should be kept completely clean to avoid further irritation and to vo avoid your eyes watering later in the, in the day. If you feel that later in the day, your eyes are watering a little bit, obviously I would say keep a tissue on you to soak it up, but also keep like a pressed powder on you with a very fine brush, maybe like an eyeshadow brush. So you can dip into that and just kind of like underneath, make sure you kind of like pat it in to clean up any area where it may have run if you haven't done your eye makeup in the way that I've shown you. So yeah, I hope this has really helped you and I am sending you loads of love and I really do hope you recreate this and it helps you and it kind of solves that problem for you. I hope this video has really helped you today. And if it has, let me know in the comments box below. Don't forget all the products are listed in my description box below. So you just need to click on the links and it'll take you straight to that exact product. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.